Hey guys, it's your girl One Love back again with another installment. Today, um, today's video, I'm going to be um, making up my mix of coconut oil and shea butter. Um, I just started mixing this stuff up maybe about a couple months back. I would, I would use shea butter in my hair and coconut oil um, on separate occasions, um, but I. I, I heard on, you know, YouTube, I used to see other people's videos about how they used to um, use shea butter and coconut oil, but I never decided to um, mix it up myself until maybe about a couple months ago. So, um, now, and I made, I actually did make a mixture. Um, I just mixed it up in, in this empty uh, cancer, and I actually did make a mixture, and it's fairly light um, because I mixed it with um, the shea butter and the coconut oil. Um, I put a lot more coconut oil so it, it melts like on contact. Like shea butter, you know, like you usually have to rub it in really, really good and then it melts. But this actually like when you touch it as soon as you smooth it into your fingers, it melts on contact. And I love that about that, um, but the thing about this mixture is that um, I wanted a little bit more creamier. So um, what I did is I actually went out and I bought shea butter, but I bought the I bought a creamier one because this is the one that I used before I mixed it with this one. African shea butter. I'm pretty sure most people have this one more than they have um, probably this one. But then I don't know. So um, as you can see, I am like <laughs> at the end of. Yeah, I have like that much left. <laughs> so um, I'm going to use this canister to um, mix up the coconut oil and the shea butter. And then I have a couple other oils that I'm probably going to use. Um, I haven't decided yet, but I just brought them out just in case. But this coconut oil I actually got from, um, not Whole Foods. Um, it's another, uh, I'm not sure if it's anywhere else, um, but it's like a local um, food market in my area, in the Massachusetts area. Um, but it's coconut oil, it's organic extra virgin, virgin, and it is cold pressed and pure white. Um, it's not refined or deodorized or bleached. And um, if you want to get a close up and read it, it says it's cold pressed, pure white, and not refined or deodorized. <laughs> um, it's made without pesticides, um, and of course, you know, you can use it for cooking as well and everything like that. <clears throat> so, um, this is the more, so it's like, like solid. <laughs> it's solid. It hasn't melted, like, yet, and which I'm very surprised that it hasn't melted yet, because, um, it's so hot in here. <laughs> but, you know, like other um, coconut oils, they're like, well, this one's off. This one kind of froze up, but it's still not as uh, thick as this one. But this one is, this is um, the fresh pressed virgin coconut oil. Um, and this one is unrefined as well. But um, I've had ones that were refined. And, um, so I'm just going to try out this one. I, I don't want to keep rambling about it, but um, you guys can look up, you know, the different um, plants of coconut oil and just come to the decision of which one you want to use. I use the other one, and I want to try to use a more um, close to natural one um, to see if I can get a better result as far as um, the benefits of what coconut oil can do for my hair. So, um, what, we're, what we'll do is um, we'll start off with um, the shea butter. 
and um, the butter's not more clean. And we will take a little spatula, a little big spatula actually, actually. and um, I'll take my empty bottle, my empty canister, and I'll just scoop out some shea butter. butter is like uh, more of a dark yellow than uh, the shea butter that I had before. So. And the ingredients it just says, you know, all natural African shea butter. Which um, I don't know. I, I find that more confident because on this one, it just says 100% natural, but it doesn't have like an ingredients list that says just, you know, shea butter, but I'm, you know, I just like when they actually have the ingredients on it saying, hey, there's nothing else in there, it's actually just shea butter, but whatever, so... We'll just smooth the shea butter, you know, just smooth it down onto into the canister. And actually I'll make like a little hole so I can start adding um, the other ingredients and everything. And then what we'll do is we'll add the coconut oil. Let me actually get another spatula, a bigger spatula for the coconut oil. Okay, so then we'll take the coconut oil. Which is so soft. Oh my gosh, like as soon as I put the spatula in it, it just like melted into it. I put it just keeping any of it. Um, I'll just put that much for now and mix it and see what it looks like because I don't want to put too much. I don't want to put too little. So we'll do that. And we'll mix that up and see what we have. Okay, so that's kind of the consistency of it. With just that, I have to think about it. A heaping tablespoon. I'm kind of just, you know, going by eye. So I'm going to put just a little bit more coconut oil in it. Um, not that much. Almost uh, living in a pudding life. <laughs> um, and believe it or not, I actually wanted a little bit more creamier than that. So I'm going to put at least one more. So I'm going to say about three heaping tablespoons is what I'm putting in here. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more. That's a little bit more than the last one, so that's all I'll say. As opposed to, um, not as opposed to, but, um, and then with the shea butter, I put about, I'd say that's about two tablespoons of, um, shea butter that I scooped out of 
my hand there. Um, and then I'll, I'll just mix this up. I'll mix it up. So that's that with the shea butter and the coconut oil. So as for oil, what I have is I have black castor oil. And I'm not sure if I actually want to use the castor oil. Um, so I'll hold off. But the oil that I definitely do want to use is I want to use a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to say about hmm, say about a teaspoon of olive oil is what I put in there and I want to use my jojoba oil and um, I love jojoba oil so I'm going to put in two teaspoons of jojoba oil. Okay. And we'll just mix this up. That made it a lot more thin. You can see almost actually starting to like become like a whip sort of. Color. And that's the kind of consistency I'm actually looking for because um when I want to do my braid out and things I actually don't want it to be um, like a, I want it to spread evenly on my hair so I can have like just a, a good amount of coverage on my entire head. Hope that makes sense to you guys. <laughs> and then I have a uh, vitamin E oil. I'm just going to put, put like a couple of drops. Um, I just put a lot, so, I just put a little bit of vitamin E, just, you know, just to feel good, that, you know, just all, I can know that there's vitamin E in there, you know what I mean? Not, you know, not a certain amount, just like a little bit in there. Stir that up. And then a little bit of almond oil for a better smell. If you use this bottle, I use about three squirts, so that's probably about a teaspoon or so. It didn't help with the smell too much, though, because shea butter, it's <laughs> the smell is really overpowered, like overbearing, like shea butter, and you can just smell it. So. My thing, what I do is, um, in when I do braid outs or twist outs in my hair and I use the shea butter or, or something that just doesn't smell good, I have this uh, oil sheen spray that I use to cover it up. So, after I'm done with my braid out and I'm, I let it um, dry or whatever, then I just take my uh, little oil sheen spray bottle that smells and my old sheen um, canister that just smells so good and I just spray over it <laughs> to mask the smell. Alright, so we got somewhat of a whipped cream consistency going on here which is perfect. Um, I thought I was going to need my direct leave in. My uh, Conditioner, my leave-in conditioner. 
I have a little bit more left, and I am holding on to it until I can go out and buy some. I actually have this mixed with um with uh, a oil that I bought and water in another bottle, so I'm not too worried about it because I still have my conditioner mixed up with a different oil, but. <coughs> I definitely need to go out and buy another bottle of that. <laughs> um, so the castor oil, um, I don't want to leave it out, so I'm just gonna put just one, like a little drop of it. I really, I'm not a big fan of castor oil. Let's see. Really, really bad. So, just put a little bit of the castor oil in it. Just because, you know, I got it out here. I might as well use it. <laughs> and it's not like, you know, it can only hurt it. I can't help, you know, harm it. It can only help my hair, right? So why not? Still doesn't help with the smell. also use it as a lotion too, so I'm like extra, extra happy about that. So, that's that guys. Thanks so much for watching. And um, what I'll do is, in case you know, judges are wondering, I'll put all the ingredients I used in a, a roundabout figure of how much I used. But, like I said, if you mix this up yourself, you can, you know, just go by eye and how you want the consistency to be. But, thanks for watching, guys. It's your girl with love.